best of times. Broken, broken, not broken, bra a little bit. So it's age. <laughs> Okay, watch out. Here we yes, go. Okay, can you remove that it. for me, Rivs? Remove what? The um, bookmark. Yes. Let me hold it for you. Okay, hold on. No, I want to hold it. All right. Oh! Bluebell and the Fairies. Bluebell went to live out west. She never before had seen a prairie. There were no little girls for her to play with. The families on the prairies lived far apart. There was not a house in sight at her papa's door. There were only three trees, but Bluebell had a good time. She made many paths through the tall grasses. She found more kinds of wildflowers than she could count, and Bluebell had playmates. She had four ducks. She named them one, two, three, four. She also had a little dog. She named him Zip. Zip always went where Bluebell, Bluebell, where Bluebell went. If it was not very far, one, two, three, and four went to one morning, Bluebell called her ducks around her. Zip sat by her side. She told them that beautiful creatures called fairies lived away down among the tall grasses and flowers. She told him, told them that the fairies Wish to see the little new girl named Bluebell. Quack, quack, said the ducks. Our folks and relations always have lived here. We never heard them tell of such things. Wow, wow, said Zip. I caught one yesterday. He ran into a hole into, he ran into, a hole into the ground. I pulled him out by his long bushy tail. Tabby Cat made a nice meal of him. That day about noon, Papa and Mama missed Bluebell. She did not come to dinner time. But Papa said Zip, faithful Zip, would bring her back. Quack, said Duck Four. I saw her going off after those things she called fairies. I quacked after her to come back. So did one and two and three pulled at the hem of her dress. But she said, shoo, shoo, back, go back, ducks. But Bluebell did not come. So Papa and Mama went to look for her. I will look in the tall grass, said Mama. Perhaps she's asleep somewhere. I will follow along by the creek, said Papa. Papa brushed away a tear with his coat sleeve. Mama wiped her eyes with a corner of her apron. One, two, three, and four also went off into the tall grass. They quacked mournful little quacks. Papa and Mama went up, down, up and down in the tall grass, but they found no bluebell. By and by, the four ducks quacked loud and glad. Papa ran that way, and Mama ran too. Zip hopped out from a tangle and barked, just as if he too had been looking and had found her. And there where Zip stood, there where Zip, where Zip stood, lay Bluebell. She was rubbing her eyes. I want some dinner, she said, and there were no fairies. How glad Papa and Mama were. They went back to the house, and Zip and the ducks walked behind. It is a good thing we went along, said one, two, three, and four. They never would have found her. Found her, sniffed Zip. She was not lost at all. I was with her all the time. Little Folks in Holland Hilda is just beginning to walk. Little Folks in Holland Gretel is a little Dutch girl. She lives in Holland. The people who live in Holland are called Dutch. When Gretel was born, a pink silk ball covered with lace was hung at the front door. Then all the neighbors knew where a little baby there was a little baby girl in the house. When her brother Peter was born, a red silk ball covered with lace was hung at the front door. Then everybody who passed the house knew there was a boy baby. Peter and Gretel have a little sister named Hilda. Babies in Holland are wrapped round and round with bands of cloth. They can hardly move their legs and arms. But Hilda is now beginning to walk. See her papa hold out his hands to her. See them all watch her. She wears a little cushion on her head. It is made on a stiff frame. 
If she falls and bumps her head, this cushion saves her head from bruises. Peter and Gretel and Hilda live in a queer, in a queer little house. It is painted blue. There is a stork's nest on the roof. The floors are made of tiles. They shine like china plates. There is not a speck of dirt anywhere. The handsome old furniture is trimmed with brass. The brass is scoured so bright you can see your face in it. The Dutch women scour the outside of the house as well as the inside. If you should visit Gretel, you would wonder where the beds are. You would look all about the house and not find them. At night, Gretel's mama opens a sliding door in the wall. There are the beds like shelves. Peter sleeps on the top one. Gretel sleeps on the lower one. Peter and Gretel wear wooden shoes. They leave their shoes outside the door when they come in. They must not bring any dirt into the house. A traveler once visited a school in Holland. At the schoolhouse door, he saw a great pile of wooden shoes. The children wore only their thick socks, stockings on, the, on their feet during school time. The trunks of the trees near Gretel's house are painted blue. There is one tree cut so as to look like a peacock. What Another tree. Kind of blue? Um, maybe. There is one tree cut so as to look like a peacock. Another tree is shaped like a deer. Outside of the window, little mirrors are hung. They are hung in a way that people in the house can see what's going on in the street. Every year, Gretel visits her cousin, Katrina. 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 Come on, next place. Katrina lives near the city of Amsterdam. Gretel goes on a streamer. There are a great many canals in Holland. Sometimes the water in these canals is higher than the land. Great banks of earth are built to keep the water from flowing over the land. These banks are called dikes. Sometimes as Gretel sails along on the, st on the steamer, she looks down on the top of the houses. She sees vessels from all parts of the world sailing on the canals. The canal boats are painted in pretty colors. The windows of the boats have curtains of white lace tied with bright ribbons. There are pots of flowers, a cat, a dog, and a bird. Whole families of children live on these boats. I think they have good times. There are a great many drawbridges on these canals. They are raised by machinery, and the great ships and steamers pass through. Katrina lives on a dairy farm. Gretel never tires of looking at the handsome black and white Dutch cattle. I wish you could see the cow stable. When you go in, you have to wipe your feet on a mat at the door. The floor is of brick and is very clean. The walls are whitewashed. There is not a cobweb or a speck of dirt to be seen. The windows have white curtains and pots of flowers. The cows are washed and combed and their tails are tied by a cord to the ceiling so as not to get dirty. The air of the stable is sweet. Katrina feeds the, cabble, the cattle of the yard every morning. What, honey? What? Yeah, I'm going to be done at well, this is a longer ten. story. It's a longer story, so I'm just going to finish ten? the story. I'm or just finishing the story. Okay, I don't. It's a longer story, but it's okay. The air of the stable is sweet. Katrina feeds the cattle in the yard every morning. At this dairy farm, they make pineapple cheese cheeses. Perhaps you may have seen these cheeses on the, in the market. They are sent from Holland to the United States. Many of the women of Holland wear queer dresses. You see, you will see one dressed in a short blue petticoat and black jacket. The shelves. The sleeves are red, and she wears a long embroidered apron. She wears a wide band of gold around her head. She hangs long gold earrings from this band of gold. Then she puts a beautiful lace fell over the gold band. Over the lace, she wears a, bon a bonnet, and on the bonnet, there is a big bunch of flowers. Some of the Holland women wear bonnets with great flapping wings like birds. Some of the women wear gold or silver helmets, which cover the head and hide the hair. The little girls are dressed like the women. Holland is a flat country. There are no hills. The little Dutch boys do not know how to skip a stone on water. Katrina feeding the cattle. It's almost over. There is plenty of water in Holland, but there are no stones. Both girls, both boys and girls have a great have great fun in the winter. Then the canals are frozen. Everybody in Holland skates. Little children toddle along on skates. Old men skate. You will see market women skate to market. They carry their baskets on their head. The doctor skates to visit his patients. The children skate to school. The school teachers skate to school. 
The mothers skate too. They tie their babies on their backs with a shawl. There are hundreds of great windmills in Holland. The great sails swing round and round in the wind and work the machinery. Some of these windmills grind grain. Some of them lift the water from the lowlands into the canals. A great many ducks and geese swim about in the waters. Let me tell you a pretty story about a duck goose, a Dutch goose. People say geese are stupid, but that is not true. The mistress of this Dutch goose was old and blind. Every Sunday, the goose led her to church. She would seize her gown in her bill and so pull her mistress gently along. When her mistress was seated in her pew, the goose would walk out and wait till the service was over. Then she would come back and lead her mistress home. F A H. Okay, that's it. We'll put the marker we'll put in. The mark, we'll put, can you put the, uh, I need the marker. bookmark? Bookmark. Where's the bookmark? Right there. And we'll start at here. The Naughty Little Prince. Okay? Ooh, Perfect. Naughty Little Prince. Thank you, honey. Thanks for your help.